everyone, my name is Ornette and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be a little bit of a different one. I don't know if you're going to like it, but basically I did this video last year and this was a 2020, well it would have been 2019, um, Primark favourites video. And I just like doing favourites videos and if that can include and stem plus has fashion into it, I thought we could do it today. So basically... I did manage to do a shop in Primark about a week before Christmas. I just popped in for some bits and I found the nicest clothes. Um, and I sort of also just wanted to talk through some of my favourite buys throughout 2020 because I feel like there definitely was some really nice pieces. Although we didn't get to shop in there as much as some people would have liked, I still managed to pick up some really nice bits. So I thought we could just do a favourites video, but you'll also get to see some of the bits they might hopefully have in when they reopen perhaps not i don't know but that's the idea behind today's video again i just thought it'd be a nice little chatty video obviously content isn't as it would usually be there's certain videos i just can't film um and that really being hauls but whilst i'm inside i find it quite therapeutic just talking to the camera so for today's video i came up with that idea i hope you like it but yeah without further ado let's go on with today's video so i'm going to start off with the bits i just picked up before primer clothes um so yeah a lot of them i think if not everything i picked up are cardigans but yeah first up we have this one this is probably my favorite um i'm probably gonna say that about all of them but look at this this is beautiful it's a black cardigan i did get it in a size xl which is an 18 to 20 and i don't know if they did do a 2xl in this because i know they do do a 2xl in some things they have in there but um, yeah this was 15 pound i do feel like that's a little bit more expensive than primark typically is but um it is what it is um and yeah i just love it because the buttons really sold it to me um they're like these little diamante ones it feels like very good quality um it fits a little bit smaller than a cardigan usually would which i actually really like because i like that you can wear it just like as a top with jeans um so yeah i really like this obviously i've had nowhere to wear it to so i haven't took the tag out however i did wear it around the house and i did wear it for a few pictures on christmas day just because it's quite nice and festive um so yeah that's this one i really like this i know they did it in a ton of different colors i know they did it in a cream in a hot pink and a black um so i picked up black but yeah i really like this i think it's a nice little basic piece but jazzed up by the buttons so yeah I really like that. Oh my god, does anyone remember the cardigan I picked up in summer with the embroidered flowers on it? Um, they they have like an autumn winter. Um, I'm saying autumn, but past autumn. They have a winter one in now, which looks like this. Um, I'm sure you'll all remember. Basically, this is like a little embroidered cardigan, which let's be honest, I can I'm probably gonna save more towards the summertime. I have the summer one near me. Um I got a ton of wear out of this. Um, I'm sure you'll all remember, I, I literally rinsed all my wear out of it, but it looks like this. These are the designs. So obviously very similar, just sort of different shades. I love this. This is, um, it looks quite short, like that's the full length of it, but I really like it. I have tried it on, it fits. I'm not gonna wear it though, I really wanna save it. Um, for my like, spring, I think, but again, this was £13, I got it in an XL. So I really like that, and I can see them keeping this in there when it probably reopens. So I'd keep an eye out for it because I think it's really pretty, and hopefully they do bring like the matching co-ord in like they did the last one. So I also picked up another cardigan. I mean, what is this? So this one is just a plain cream one. I picked one up very similar to this, but the material went really funny. It didn't go bobbly, but it like stretched out and I'd only worn it a handful of times. So I don't really know what happened there, but this is what it looks like. I got this one in an 18 to 20. I have worn this. Um, I actually wore this in the house. It's just really snuggly and cozy. And sometimes, obviously at the moment when we're not getting dressed, it's still nice to get casually dressed. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Again, it fits really nice. This one is a little bit bigger and a, quite a low V. So you wouldn't be able to, I don't think, get away with this as just like an a, like a cardigan like top, um, like a lot of people do at the moment. But it's a really nice like layering cardigan. And this one, if out of any, feels the best material. Um, and I believe this one was £15 as well. So that is everything I got 
like I said, it was just a small short and sweet. I did also pick up just some makeup, some bits and bobs like that. Nothing special, just a few things when I was passing through. Like I picked up some like Buddy the Elf wrapping paper and stuff like that. But I thought I'd show you like my favourites from Primark throughout 2020. Um, I just thought in my head it seemed like a nice video. It's just kind of like a chatty video. So yeah, um, first up I've got these two which I have just shown. So this is my first piece. Um, you will see I still have the tags on just because obviously there was like limited time when we could wear things. Just because um, I haven't worn it out. I've only wore it in like pictures or to my local like field when I took pictures just because I didn't ever find the right time to wear it um and again I've just this is so totally out of my comfort zone but I love it so much and it matched the cardigan so this is unbabbling this is like a bralette sort of cropped uncaught um knitted vest and I love it so much this is in an 18 to 20 now I think why I went wrong with this is I probably could have gone for a smaller size not because I am that size but just because it would have fit smaller so I think it would have fitted a bit more snug so I wasn't worried it was going to come loose but nevertheless I still love it so this is what it looked like it was like a cropped like the best thing I put it on my TikTok and everyone went crazy for it um, but yeah, I love it so much. And then obviously I actually got the cardigan first and then it was my mum that spotted like the vest to go with it. So it's like a matching little cardigan, very similar to like something you'd get from like Zara. Um, and this is the cardigan. I rinsed this, I wore this so much. Um, luckily um, it hasn't gone bobbly yet and it's in very good condition. So we'll be able to get somewhere out of it in spring or summer again, which I really like. But um, it wasn't too thick, it was quite thin. And with a pair of like blue mom jeans and just blue jeans in general, it's a really nice, like cute, pretty outfit. And obviously if you're plus size like me, Zara's not always the best option. Um, but Primark, if you can find like a 20 and it comes up big like these two, it's definitely worth a try. Enjoyed these tops from Primark in the summer. Now I like, I actually pretty much lived in these last year and um, even throughout like winter as well because they're so good for layering basically it looks very similar to like the outfit Cher wears when she plays tennis in Clueless um but these are just like the ribbed body like con like vest crop tops obviously I'm the type of person that like never wears a crop top you won't catch me in a crop top because I won't have any of like my stomach out or anything which is fine it's just a personal preference I just I'm not brave enough to but I really really like these um with like denim shorts tucked in with like a white sheer shirt over the top and um, with jeans are like layered over the top of t-shirts they're so nice there were so many different colors I had a purple one a black one a white one these were four pound I had so many of them I actually got rid of a lot because I'd worn them a lot and I thought hopefully they'll bring them in next next year um this year and I just thought hopefully they'll bring them in this year a lot of the time what I do with when I sort my wardrobe out from like different seasons is I will get rid of things which were like a little which didn't cost me a lot which I know look quite worn I like to invest in nice pieces so if I've got a few pieces which are a bit old look a bit bad I will get rid of them because I just want to take them onto the new season because I know I won't wear them again um this one was however a brand new one so I did keep this one but I really like this like I said it was four pound and these were just a lifesaver during summer because they're so cheap but they look so effective and the last things for fashion these are just some of the bits that really stood out to me so I just wanted to feature so there's not like loads of things here but I don't know I feel like they're favorite so I don't want to feature everything and obviously I didn't buy shitloads from Primark this year so yeah but one of the last things that I absolutely love which I picked up which I found so cheap in Primark compared to everyone else were these sweater vests now I went for a green one just because I remember seeing the black and I didn't pick it up and then afterwards they went crazy and they sold out like, everywhere so I never managed to find the black but I did manage to get green it's like a khaki green very Slytherin-esque um but yeah I really like this I got shit ton of wear out of this i wore this like all the time um and yeah this was like 10 pound really cheap compared to a lot of other places and yeah i just really liked it and i thought it was worth mentioning because 
yeah and then last up i thought i'd just talk through some like beauty favorites um so first up it's definitely got to be this this is the andrew fitzsimmons um texture instant volume spray uh, i love this so much i went through a couple of cans of these i don't know if they'll still be in the store when it reopens but yeah this was like two pound fifty and i just found it did work really well with my hair i usually hate like hairspray in my hair i don't actually ever wear hairspray to be honest but this was like an instant volume spray but i found when i pin curled my hair back when i had longer hair i miss it <laughs> um this worked really really well um but yeah it's run out now so it's a shame but it was a really good spray um and yeah hopefully they bring out something similar if you know anything similar to this please let me know but i love this so much up if you're like me and you get a few breakouts um whether it's like around time a month or just in general something i love now they sell this in other places but I just always buy it from Primark, so I thought I'd best feature it. This is the T-Zone Skincare Effective Targeted Action Skin Rescue Spot Zapping Gel. This way looks like, I feel like I'm like in an advert. <laughs> but there, this is so good. Um, this is really inexpensive. I actually can't remember how much because um, I've got like three in my drawer. I seem to always pick one up in Primark because I'm like, oh, I'll throw that in i don't need to because i've got so many but you know um but yeah this is really good if you've got a spot if you've got a spot and you like say pop it the night before say before you go to bed you you pop it maybe sometimes you shouldn't but i feel like everyone does and you put this on i swear to you in the morning it'll be gone i swear it's really good i really recommend it and yeah i just feel like i feel like it's very similar to the mario badescu um gel where it feels like it's actually working you know it feels like it's pulling the bad stuff out it's really good and i'd really recommend it. yeah that is everything i'm um, i just wanted a feature today you probably found it it's probably a really boring video um i don't know if anyone will like it but i just really i just really wanted to like sit and film like a chatty video i don't know if it would be of any interest to you but i do really hope that you enjoyed it i loved filming it i find it really I just like talking through my favorite things but thank you so much for watching if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like to see and i will see you in my next video bye